Today, we're diving into a hot topic in the world of diabetes and weight management, terzepatide. This new medication has been making waves, but what's the real story? Is it a game changer or just another hype? Stick around because we're uncovering the truth about terzepatide right now. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update on the latest health breakthroughs. Now, let's get into it. So, what exactly is terzepatide? Terzepatide is a once-weekly injectable medication that targets both GLP-1 and GIP receptors. These are hormones involved in blood sugar control and appetite regulation. It's primarily being used to treat type 2 diabetes, but it's also showing promising results for weight loss. Terzepatide is administered via subcutaneous injections. It is sold under the brand names Manjaro for diabetes treatment and Zepbound for weight loss. But what makes it different from other diabetes medications like Ozempic or Trulicity? The key is its dual action mechanism. By targeting two different receptors, it offers a more comprehensive approach to controlling blood sugar and reducing body weight. Let's talk about the benefits first. Clinical trials have shown that terzepatide can significantly lower HbA1c levels, which is a measure of long-term blood sugar control. Some patients have seen reductions of up to 2.4%. In addition to better blood sugar control, terzepatide has also been linked to substantial weight loss. In some studies, participants lost an average of 15 to 20% of their body weight. That's incredible, especially for those struggling with obesity. And it doesn't stop there. Terzepatide may also offer cardiovascular benefits, like reducing the risk of heart disease, which is a major concern for people with type 2 diabetes. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Terzepatide does come with its own set of drawbacks and potential side effects. Some of the most common side effects include nausea, diarrhea, and vomiting. These symptoms are usually mild to moderate and tend to decrease over time, but they can be quite uncomfortable. More serious, though rare, side effects can include pancreatitis and severe allergic reactions. It's crucial to discuss these risks with your healthcare provider to determine if terzepatide is the right choice for you. So, who should consider taking terzepatide? If you have type 2 diabetes and are struggling to manage your blood sugar levels with other medications, terzepatide could be an option worth exploring, especially if you're also looking to lose weight. However, terzepatide is not recommended for people with a history of certain medical conditions, like pancreatitis or thyroid cancer. Always consult with your doctor to make an informed decision based on your health history. Looking ahead, terzepatide has the potential to revolutionize diabetes and weight management. Ongoing research is exploring its use for other conditions, like non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and cardiovascular diseases. But as with any new treatment, it's essential to stay informed and critically evaluate the data. Keep an eye out for long-term studies and real-world evidence to better understand its impact and efficacy. That's the truth about terzepatide. It's a promising medication with potential benefits for blood sugar control and weight loss, but it's not without its risks. If you're considering terzepatide, talk to your healthcare provider to see if it's the right fit for you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit from this information. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for more health updates. Leave your questions and thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay healthy and informed.